I studied gene splicing, which is a fundamental biological process. It's happening right now in virtually every cell in your body. Gene splicing is kind of like the process of editing a film. The editor reviews the raw footage, identifies the specific bits he wants to use, and then cuts them out and joins them together in a particular order. Now, at the end of this process, ideally you have a film that tells a nice coherent story. Well, this is just like the process of gene splicing, except in our cells, um, they don't use an editor, they employ tiny little machines to carry out this task of cutting and splicing. Now, our cells are smart because they always make a temporary copy of the raw footage first. This ensures that the original is preserved and can be used again. For any given gene, our cells are able to make many different films, in some cases thousands, all starting from the same sequence of raw footage. And this is why gene splicing is so important. It allows our cells to maximise the diversity that can be generated from the fixed set of genes that we have. When gene splicing goes wrong, it can cause cancer. Recently, thousands of people with certain subtypes of leukemia have been found to have mutations or defects in a gene that actually makes one of the components of our cell's splicing machines. However, it's not currently understood how this defect changes the way genes are spliced or why this ultimately leads to cancer. So the aim of my PhD project is to find this out. So my project involves using techniques that allow me to watch and interpret these films made by cells. And I'm doing this in both normal healthy cells as well as cancer cells. I'm using new gene sequencing technology that allows me to view more of these cells and at a higher resolution than ever before. It's, it's kind of like having Netflix with an unlimited data plan. <laughs> now I've already had a few ideas about what might be going wrong with the splicing in the cancer cells and I'm testing for these one by one. For example, uh, they, could be, they could be failing to recognise the important scenes that should be included in the films and instead including lots of filler. Another possibility is they're choosing the right scenes but they're just putting them together in the wrong order. Or it could be something much more subtle than this. For example, they could just be cutting the film a tiny bit too early or a tiny bit too late, which puts the whole film out of sync from that point onwards. But at the end of the day, why does all this matter? Because once we properly understand how gene splicing works and how this process goes wrong in cancer, then we'll be able to try and fix it. Thanks for listening.